Alright, welcome back to more Starbound. Uh, last time we left off, I had to mine some resources and we were exploring, and uh, we're definitely going to continue with that exploration part. And probably the mining resources part, too. I guess I got... This can happen. You can get buried in sand sometimes, but uh, got the iron over there. Revealed some iron over here. So, that's good. Iron is useful. It will be... Copper is going to be very useful for us in the short term, but in the long term, iron will probably be the more useful resource. Uh, actually, no. Not probably. It will be the more useful resource. Oh, there is a lot of iron really close to the surface here. Also, there's a type of tree that uh, is different than the ones in our uh, starting biome. So I'm probably going to go over and knock that down so that... Uh, if we ever decide we want to plant trees just to have trees planted, we have a choice of what those trees look like. And you know, having more logs can't hurt either. Or cacti. That didn't really look... I don't know about you, but that didn't really look like a cactus to me, but uh, okay. We'll go with it. See, this looks like a cactus, but if I hit it with anything, it just disappears. It's kind of weird. It That's a bit weird that it gave me a cactus. What do I even use cacti for? I don't know. There are this there are a lot of things about this game that I just don't know. My guess based off of uh, other stuff in the game is that there's a uh, item set associated with it, and uh, you just have to find the recipes around. And if you don't never find them, well, that sucks for you. So, for those of you who aren't aware, and uh, I guess I'll talk about this now, because I have really nothing too pressing to comment on in-game right now, but um, Starbound is a uh, pre-release game. It's still in development, and uh, character wipes and planet wipes and ship wipes and all that are a thing that happens and still is happening, and uh, theoretically the next patch will eliminate the need for future character wipes and hopefully the need for uh, universe wipes as well, so... But naturally, the patch that uh, fixes those things will in and of itself require a uh, character wipe, and that patch is slated to come out about a week from now, like sometime next Monday or Tuesday, or a little bit earlier. So, uh, we won't have a lot longer with Gilly. I'll continue the series with a different character after that, but um, we will be starting over in about a week here, week real time. Probably going to do some more episodes over the weekend, like instead of just one a day, two a day, to uh, get in a bit more time with this character and see how far we can progress. But, but enough about that. We will, uh, uh, not finding nearly as much as I'd hoped to find on the surface here. It's a shame. I guess I was a bit spoiled by my, uh, oh, here we go. Speak of stuff, find stuff approach with something that's not a weapon. Bird man. Okay, what will you sell me? Clothes. Uh, interesting, but I don't think they are worth uh, my money. Well, I don't know though. These aren't the sort of clothes we could have to begin with. Hmm. Now what do you guys think? Should we buy clothes? Let me know what you think. See, nothing in here. It's probably wrong to steal his possessions, but he could have something really valuable, so I'm going to check. See, really valuable. Yes, it was pretty horrible for me to take those. Uh, nothing else in there I really need, and uh, generally if I don't have to steal from the NPCs, or if they don't have something really worth stealing, I don't. So we'll leave him with the rest of his meager possessions. 
and uh, maybe buy some clothes. Yeah. If you want me to buy clothes for this character as well, let me know which clothes. And it seems a bit silly to be like, oh, I want to buy these clothes, but, you know, having an interesting looking character is always a good thing, in my opinion. And, uh, the best way to go about doing that is to, or, well, I don't know about the best, but the easiest way to go about doing that is to change what they're wearing, so... Alright. Birds in the background. Not a lot of enemies. Uh, like, I mean, you know, I say that and then we immediately encounter one, but all things considered, we really haven't run into a lot of enemies uh, since we've started this episode. Which... Iron. Alright, so... I should find a better transition than that. But, um... I'm just bad with transitions in general. We'll agree to that. Alright. With... Get this mind out. Night is falling again. Not quite sure why I was stuck there. It should have been tall enough for me to move. That was kind of... Well, no. Not kind of. It was weird, but... Oh well. Easy enough to fix. And then... Copper. Copper. So... Armor. Basically. Because I don't... There's not really a lot else we'll be using it for at this point, since we already have a copper pick. One down, one to go, two to go, two to go. Oh, well we've run out of energy, so reducing the uh, rate of fire there a bit. I guess it's still not too bad, even with the reduced rate of fire, but... Well, it's, I should learn to use it better. I am completely unskilled with it. There we go. Could have saved time if I'd, you know, been less stubborn and just switched to a different weapon, but that would be too easy. And really, what video without challenge, video games are boring. At least in my mind, anyways. I don't know about you. You might think that uh, I'm crazy to say that. And uh, no challenge would be nice, because then you could just get victory. Which, you know, I do understand. How am I doing food-wise? Hunger. Okay, let's eat a steak, because all things considered, eating steaks really doesn't do a lot for your uh, hunger. I know I've mentioned that, but uh, I didn't have a lot else to mention at this point. And it really is kind of unintuitive. I understand why they do it from a gameplay balance perspective, and I completely agree with the reasoning there. I found some more bandits, so... This one's got a hammer. Why, thank you for dealing with him for me. Is that... That's another legendary. Did we already fight one of these on this planet? I feel like we did. Ow. Okay, so, legendaries. Right, if we haven't fought one, they drop, uh... Generally, they drop special, unique, and interesting weapons. I say generally because they don't always... But, you know. And they do this regardless of what you kill them with. So I can kill it with uh, this hunting bow. And it will still drop a weapon as opposed to meat or uh, leather like anything else. So let's see what we got. Pathetic protector. Oh yeah, that sounds promising. Shields in this game, I've never gotten the hang of them, really. But, uh... We'll give it a shot. You can switch... So, you know how with the pistol I have the flashlight out because it's one-handed? If you hit uh, Z, you can switch which of these things you have here. And then, of course, if you hit X, you can immediately switch to these. In fact, I think what I'm going to do is do that. And then hit Z. Yep, there we go. 
so now we have the flashlight out, and then whenever we hit X, we have the shield, and... Hmm. Okay, we're gonna have to do it. Well... Okay. In order to... I guess I can adjust the controls being different. They are, uh... Huh. It's interesting that that was already broken, but, uh... Instead of the left mouse button firing like normal, it, the right is the one that fires with this configuration. Also, you know, there are some dangers to just randomly shooting your gun off to illustrate a point. Still, as far... I'm... There hasn't been anything truly, uh... Well, super thrilling, loot-wise. Hmm. That or, you know, I'm really still quite bad at this game. Both of those are reasonable choices. You can go with whichever one you prefer. And, all things considered, they're probably both true, just to various extents. I saw a cave down there, but it looks like it's sealed off, and I don't feel like digging to get to it. Oh, that's what happened. So this planet is, uh, gets meteor showers. Well, that, um, that certainly makes this night more interesting. I thought that's what I heard, but I wasn't sure. But, uh, now we have it confirmed. So, um, well, I'll pick up the debris and not die, hopefully, preferably. Uh, at least we weren't at the house when this happened, because I don't believe they'll hit off screen. So because we're not at the, uh, house, that won't get destroyed, but, uh, I think the first thing I'm going to do when I get back is move all the stuff from there to the ship, and maybe it's time to go to a different planet. Because, uh, well, as you saw, meteors are bad, and, um, you know, I'm really just kind of skimming the surface of the planets here. I'm not digging too deep because, well, basically, if this were, um, because this character's not going to be around long, I don't want to do a bunch of mining because that just, for the vast majority of people, just won't be as interesting as a lot of the other stuff I can be, could be doing in this game. So... A Florin. Are you going to attack me? No, you're going to sleep. Well, while you sleep, I'm going to get this copper. And this piece of coal. And do I have any more alien meat? No, I don't. I should uh, kill some stuff with a hunting bow so I don't starve to death because I haven't set up a farm. I suppose I could set up a farm on the spaceship. That just seems silly. So, alien meat, and then we'll just uh, take advantage of this Florin's campfire. That's what he is, by the way. The uh, He's the plant race, and they're called Florin's. So let's talk to him. Uh, another clothing merchant. So, uh, I guess if at some point you want me to wear uh, pink casual pants or green cool pants, uh, just let me know in the comments. And, uh, I can go do that, because I do have an abundance of pixels that I'm not likely to use anytime too soon, and, well, might as well. Because, honestly, I don't have that strong of a preference on the matter, but I think it might be kind of fun. Or, you know, just different to do that. And uh, now that the sun's up, I see that there's actually some ore buried here as well. What have we got? Alright, so a bunch of iron. What we really need is more copper. Because the iron is useful, but it doesn't do us as much good without the uh, copper. So, hopefully we'll find that. We probably will. Given surface of planets and all that. What is... 
Why do you look different? What are you? Tough sandstone, as opposed to... Succeed. Keep looking at nothing. Let's try that again. Tough sandstone. Oh, does this have ore in it? Oh, I almost didn't realize that. Uh, that would have... I'm pretty sure that's gold. Yeah, that's gold. I thought for a second that I uh, saw gold down here too, but then I realized it was the top of the enemy's head. Which is not gold, disappointingly enough. Nope, you know what, fire sword. Hunting bow later. Oh, well, you know, we got meat anyways, so... Can't complain. Needed it. But yeah, I don't think I'm going to set up a farm on this spaceship, because if I recall correctly, there is a uh, bug associated with placing uh, certain blocks in your ship. And uh, it essentially will ruin the save, and while this save isn't uh, going to be too long-lived anyways, I would like to keep it around for uh, a little bit longer until the character wipe. More sand. Thrilling. Really. Is that? Yeah, that's ore. Alright. And we can still jump out of there, which is good. Don't really, uh... Hey! A chest! What are the chances it has something good? Uh, non-existent, apparently. Still, we could sell those to merchants. I don't actually know how to sell stuff to merchants in this game, so if you do, let me know. I'd appreciate it. Uh, nothing here. More water, more trees. More hot, inherently hostile enemies who we're going to kill. Because, you know, they attacked me first, they had it coming. Self-defense and all that. That sounded like an asteroid hit somewhere. Hey! Hey! Knock it off! What are you? Are you a Florin or... I can't tell because you're in the water. Some funny looking person. Well, that doesn't uh, help me too much. We'll... Nope, it's another one of uh, the uh, Hoya Lotl or some Hoya Lotl or something. That is the uh, name of the fish species that uh, Gilligan is, and this guy is. But uh, I have no idea how to pronounce it. Yep, more close. I wonder, how do I? Do I like drag, click on them with the weapon? Uh, Hold still for a second. Hold, hold still. Uh, no. No, I do not. Um, how do I do that? I know you can sell stuff to merchants. Is it only, like, some merchants that you can sell stuff to? Like, do some of them only sell you stuff and they don't buy any of your stuff? I guess that would kind of make sense, but it'd be a bit annoying. Or, and uh, we will want that coal. We're going to be using it to get off planet pretty shortly here. I don't know if I'm going to mine out the uh, one facility. I guess I'll go in and try and mine out any, grab anything that looks really cool. But uh, not going to take the time to fully mine out the uh, military compound we cleared out last episode. Can't complain about all the uh, iron we're finding, although I don't know if... I hope we have enough copper for what we need to do with it. We already built the most expensive piece of armor that uses it, but I'd like the full set. And I believe we need some more copper for the thing that summons the boss anyways, so... Having 
it can't possibly be bad to have copper at this stage of the game. Like, later on, if we don't use it now, then later on there's a thing that lets you uh, turn ores and uh, bars directly into, excuse me, directly into uh, pixels. And so, worst case scenario, it all just ends up as money. So, you know, it's kind of a win-win. Either I uh, use it now and get cool gear and epic loot, or I use it later and get free money slash experience. Either way, it's good for me. Oh, well, this is a nice uh, vein of iron. I guess we'll go... It's the best way to describe it. And... There we go. Uh... Grab that. Go over here. And... You know, I was gonna say, we'll, uh... Mine this bit of iron there and call it an episode, but... Uh, there appears to be a lot of ores over that way, so we'll just get all those to start next episode, and uh, hopefully I'll see you then.